All right. Well, I was on time. <laughs> <laughs> You, you're not waiting on me, are you? Oh, you're doing a video. Good. Yes, ma'am. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh huh. Hold on. Houston Public Works. My screen is frozen. Houston Public Works is responsible for the daily tasks you may take for granted. You may not notice us, but we work around the clock to support you. We are the foundation for life in Houston. Houston Water distributes enough fresh water to fill the Astrodome four times a day. Transportation and drainage operations handle 16,000 miles of streets. over a million signs and street names and thousands of drains. The Houston Permitting Center regulates hundreds of projects so you can work, play, and live safely. Customer account services ensures 2.1 million people have access to safe drinking water with efficiency, accuracy, and flexibility. Capital Projects manages the critical improvements that make Houston better every single day. Houston is always moving towards growth, innovation, and progress. We are the largest, most diverse public works organization in the country. We are one team with one purpose. Together, we create a strong foundation for Houston to thrive. Good evening, and thank you for participating in our live virtual community meeting today. My name is Kenya Williams with Houston Public Works. The goal of today's meeting is to keep you informed and updated on the Alameda Sims Wastewater Treatment Plant Large Diameter Sewer Relocation Project. Before we begin, I would kindly ask if you could hold all your questions until the end of the presentation. Many of the answers you're looking for will be answered within the presentation, so we'd like to respectfully ask for your full attention at this time. Later, we will open the questions and answers session at the end of the presentation. Here at Houston Public Works, we believe that together we create a strong foundation for Houston to thrive. There are five service lines at Houston Public Works. Today's meeting is presented by Capital Projects. We deliver large scale reconstruction and new construction projects of Houston Public Works existing roadway, drainage, water and wastewater facilities. We are committed to managing and delivering these critical projects 
that are maintained and operated by Transportation and Drainage Operations and Houston Water. And now a word from your phenomenal council member, Carolyn Evans-Shabazz with District D. Thank you so much, Kenya. That is so awesome of you to say that. But I'm only phenomenal because of people such as yourself and public works. You say we don't notice you, but I certainly do because I know the impact that you make on all of these communities. And certainly I'm very thankful that you are informing uh, the persons of District D, you know, what's going on in their community, because that's very important because they are entitled to the knowledge to know what to expect. And so certainly uh, even that little brief video showed us how many people and how many facets there are to projects. And so certainly this is one small component, certainly uh, one project that's going on in the city of Houston. But I certainly thank you and your team for coming forward to engage the community so that they can know what's going on. And I am so very honored to be the council member, uh, council member Carolyn Evans Shabazz, the council member of District D, what I call the district of destination, and <laughs> certainly know that these projects are so vitally important for the safety and for us to be able to have quality of life. So thank you so very much and you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you, council member. Let's talk about this project and the design updates. Please hold all questions until the end of this presentation. This is a wastewater project that has an estimated budget of $19 million. This project is currently in the design phase and the project manager is Hong Vu. Please note that Houston Public Works will host a virtual community meeting on how to prepare for construction once this project is in the construction phase. And now here to introduce the project team and share some design updates with you is engineer Hong Vu. Take it away, Hong. Good evening. Welcome to our meeting. I am Hong Vu and I am the city project manager. Let me introduce the team. The project team includes myself, Elka Agarwal, City Supervising Engineer, Mohamed Haider, City Managing Engineer, Marcos Mangesha, City Assistant Director, and last but not least, Edward Gears, the VP of IMS and the Engineer of Record of this project. Edward is the engineer behind the technical aspects of this design project. Here is the design update. The design is currently at 90% complete. The construction is expected to begin spring 2024 and the total construction duration is expected to be three and a quarter years. Here is the project timeline. The de final design is to be completed in summer 2023. The construction is expected to begin in spring 2024 and the construction is expected to begin summer 2027. And now here to share the design specific with you is our engineer record, Edward Heroes. Please go ahead, Edward. Oh, uh, thank you. You uh, so uh, on this particular slide, we show the project limits. Uh, and, and this project, we're installing some wastewater new lines in, through the neighborhood and along West o uh, West Odom. Uh, you'll notice the the the, the layout shows uh, uh, beginning from the southern area along Monarch Road and heading north. Uh, which is also a uh, gravity line. We're going to be installing new uh, wastewater gravity lines uh, that will be running from 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 south to north and then from uh, east to west uh, with the ultimate goal that this flow would go into the Almeda Sims wastewater treatment plant. Uh, these are improvements and we're adding uh, new lines uh, to convey the uh, sanitary flows in this area. Mm. 
Uh, this is a uh, schematic and cross section of the neighborhood areas. Um, as, as I mentioned, we'll, we, the project will be going through uh, Cheswick Road, Tiny Parkway, which is part of the City Park West neighborhood. And so typically what this illustrates is uh, the uh, sewer will be installed underground uh, uh, beneath the pavement. Uh, so during construction, you might have some uh, uh, construction activity associated with that uh, on the surface. Uh, along West Odom, uh, this, this slide illustrates a commercial application uh, along a larger roadway and which we have in our project, which is uh, the West Odom Drive. And along this section of the project, we'll be installing a much larger uh, wastewater line that begins at 60 inches and eventually increases to 72 inches in diameter. This will also be installed underground um, uh, along this ro these uh, roadway. Uh, beneath the pavement. What this slide illustrates is the uh, various different uh, size wastewater lines that will be part of this project. You'll notice there's small diameter eight inch line uh, to connect some existing residential homes that that would be impacted. Uh, there's also a 36 inch line which is shown in orange. Uh, the 60 inch line in yellow and the 72 li uh, a line in green. Uh, altogether, this forms the, the, the total project. Uh, it also hints at the phasing of construction. This, uh, uh, the reason for the uh, uh, prolonged uh, construction activity is this will be constructed in, a, in phasing and in sequences one another so that as you construct one section, it'll be ready for use in the following sections as we move uh, toward the uh, completion date. So uh, we begin by installing the 36 inch sewer and that eventually ends up at West Odom where it intersects the, uh, the 60 and 72 inch line, which is the yellow line in this illustration. Um, and we would uh, construct that in, in, in phase two and then in phase three, we we connect it to the uh, wastewater sims uh, wastewater treatment plant through the 72 inch line, and so at this point in time, we can we'll, we'll have a majority of it in place. Then phase three, if four is a little section toward uh, uh, Kenny Drive, Kilkenny Drive, uh, and uh, where we we would divert the existing flows. Uh, into the new sewers uh, that would flow by gravity to waste uh, to Almeida Sims wastewater treatment plant. And then finally, the last stage would be to divert the 60 inch line um, uh, that would be coming on the on the north on the east north side, northeast side of the project will eventually drop down and connect to the 60 inch line, which would be connected to the 72 inch and eventually Almeida Sims. Um, uh, by con by doing this construction phasing and, and sequencing, we minimize the amount of time that uh, uh, we would have to be uh, doing any bypass pumping associated with uh, transferring services from an existing sewer to the new sewers. Uh, and so and, and so this in in its uh, entirely is is our project uh, as a. Uh, Hong uh, mentioned it, it, it has a approximately a three year schedule and that's so that we can inst install each section uh, uh, in time, test it, have it in place for service and then proceed to the next phase. Okay, thanks and Ed for those design details. You're welcome. We encourage you to go to engagehouston.org to view more project information. The project page includes additional project details right at your fingertips. And now a brief demo on how to navigate your way on EngageHouston.org. Welcome to EngageHouston.org. We're incredibly excited to share this platform with you. This site allows us to communicate with Houstonians about the changes that are happening in their neighborhood. Our goal is to make the site visually fun and engaging as well as easy to navigate so that everyone can find what they need. Using the Google Translate option, users can translate the languages used on the website. On the home screen, you can navigate the four project types that we support, drainage, street, wastewater, and water projects. Beneath that, you're going to see a variety of resources. 
All of these resources can also be found up here in our header. For all public meetings, we send out notifications to the community, and one way to access the meeting link is to click on the Join Us button. Another great thing about this website is that we have enabled social media shares. Users can share meeting links, project pages, and updates to their social media feed through private messages and or email. This helps us in getting more information out to the community. Here's a snapshot of all the relevant project information on the project page. It shows a standard map which highlights the project area and general project information which may be followed by a link. Below are the project's frequently asked questions. To the right, you're going to see a variety of widgets. First is the Stay Informed Subscribe button. This allows a user to subscribe to this project, meaning that if this project is of great interest, all it requires is inputting your email address. You'll be notified via email when updates are posted to the page or when new information becomes available. You'll also see the current project phase, as well as the project documents, meeting recordings, videos, and pictures. Underneath that, you'll be able to view who's listening and who the public engagement team is. At the bottom of the page, there's the Engage Us tool, which allows you to correspond directly with us through this platform. In order to use this tool, you must be registered and signed into the site. Once you're signed in, you can ask questions and they're sent directly to the public engagement team. We research and provide a response to every single question that is asked. We encourage everyone to register for the site. Some of the tools we discussed earlier can only be utilized if you're registered. So it is extremely important to register. We've made it simple, quick, and as painless as we could. Just create a simple username and password and answer three basic questions and you're good to go. You'll receive a confirmation email, so don't forget to confirm your email address so that you don't miss out on all of the updates. And now you're done. You're all set up to utilize EngageHouston.org and all of its beneficial tools. We encourage you to call 311 if you have a concern. You can report online, email, or yes, there's an app for that. We love to hear from you, so please email us directly at engage at HoustonTX.gov. I want to thank Council Member Evan Shabazz and District D for their support today. Thanks to the awesome project team for their participation today. And thank you to all of you joining us today to receive this important design updates. Thank you for your time and attention. Please remember to share what you heard today with your friends and neighbors, and remember to visit EngageHouston.org if you have any questions, comments, or to receive more project updates. And now it's Q&A time. Being present today has its benefits because you will get your questions answered in real time by the fantastic project team. Take advantage now and ask away. The project team is here to answer all of your questions. And now here to help moderate the Q&A is Timothy Williams with the fabulous public engagement team. Take it away, Tim. Okay, I certainly will and thank you, Kenya. Good evening, everyone. This is the Q&A portion of our meeting. It's your opportunity to engage and provide us with questions and comments that are related to this project. We'd certainly love to hear from you and we welcome the feedback. The instructions for submitting questions are now on the screen. First, select Q&A on the right side of the screen. It's the bubble with the question mark in the middle. Second, type your question in the compose box and then select send. You can remain anonymous by selecting ask anonymously. Some questions may require further research and may not be answered tonight. As such, we do encourage those who submit questions to also include your name and email address so that we can follow up with you later. And as those questions are coming in, please note that this marks the beginning of the Q&A process. If you have any questions or comments beyond today's meeting, you can share them by visiting us at engagehouston.org. You would go to the project page and there at the bottom, you can submit your question or comment and we'll be sure to follow up with you. I'd also like to remind you that all of tonight's meeting material is available on the site. 
OK, and our first question is, and I'll direct this to our project team. How long is this project going to take? How long is this project going to take? And I'll just toss it to the project team. I guess I'll answer that. We've estimated uh, uh, roughly 800 days of construction. Uh, um, so from from start to to finish. OK, and that's a little over two years then. Correct. OK, thank you. And also you said the next question is you said sewer project. Can I expect a foul odor in my neighborhood? And anyone on the project team can can answer that. Can they can citizens expect a foul odor in their neighborhood considering this is a sewer project? I'll answer that also. Um, most of the project were installing new sewer. So during construction, there wouldn't be any flow in the in those pipes. Uh, and then uh, as uh, as we transfer the service from the existing sewers to the new sewers, uh, 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 we don't expect any increase in, in any older issues uh, because they're currently not present that that we're aware of. Uh, and so we don't and so uh, we're not adding any uh, agitation to the system that would uh, create additional odors. Um, uh, uh, um, anyway, that's my answer. Okay. All right. And the next question is, will you at any point intrude on my property? Or are you going to be in my yard as a result of this project? Uh, with, with the exception of the apartment complex along West Odom Drive, uh, all the work will be within the right of way. And so there should be a clarification. The right of way can include the sidewalk and uh, and maybe a one to two foot uh, strip of land uh, on the uh, owner's side of the sidewalk that's still part of the right of way. Uh, so that that area may be impacted during construction, uh, but uh, if uh, we're not going on to private property uh, with the exception of the apartment complex and we have in place uh, already uh, uh, easement agreements with those property owners. <clears throat> OK, thank you, sir. The next question is, uh, why is this project needed? Why is this project needed? And so if the project team can just go ahead and speak to that. Yes, so this is a capital improvement project. And so with any sewer, it ages over time. Uh, City of Houston is a, 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 and the neighborhood is a fast growing neighborhood. Uh, and so all of these new homes and apartment complex being created generate more wastewater that needs to be conveyed from the source to, to the treatment area. And so uh, existing lines may be undersized, may be too old, may, may be creating uh, odor issues. And so uh, the, the city evaluates these, these issues and recommends in their capital improvement projects uh, which areas need to be improved, and this was one of the areas. Gotcha. Thank you. Okay, and the next question is, do you anticipate there being a disruption of city services during this project? And if so, how will we be, how will we be notified? Do you anticipate um, when doing those sort um, relocations that there will be disruption of service? Um, uh, I guess I'll answer that question. So, um, no, there's uh, the, the well one during construction. There'll be door hangers, and uh, as previously noted earlier, there'll be a second a second meeting during the construction phase for the community uh, uh, to to provide more details. 
so, uh, but as far as uh, disruption of services, uh, no, the 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 intent of the design is to have the new construction in place before you transfer services from 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 one to the other. So, uh, uh, any transfer of services would probably go unnoticed to the user or to the homeowner. Uh, uh, and so, there should not be any uh, disruption of service. Okay, thank you, sir. You are MVP for tonight, and we certainly thank you for uh, answering those questions for us. And with that, this concludes the Q&A portion of today's meeting, but please continue to engage with us at engagehouston.org. We would like to thank you and send a special thank you to Council Member uh, Carolyn Evans Shabazz and everyone at District D, the staff there, uh, the amazing project team and our uh, amazing engagement team as well, and certainly uh, you all, the citizens. And with that, we would like to say uh, have a good rest of your night and uh, have a great day. Thank you.